Uh, my name is Edisa Mihana. I'm 33 years old. Uh, I'm from Rwanda. I live now in Norway, in Molde, for almost three years. In my country, I did many things, but before I came, I had my own business, which was event management. Uh, so I was doing uh, uh, wedding decorations and um, decorations for um, special events like conferences, meeting. So I was like organizing them uh, at the same time uh, with the decoration. And I was also selling uh, some stuff in my um, shop because we have um, uh, traditional clothes. So I was uh, selling and learning uh, traditional uh, clothes at the same time. The reason I left my country is because I married uh, someone who lived here uh, for uh, many years. I married uh, a refugee from Congo, so that's why I came here. I met him through uh, my friend, so it's connection. <laughs> yeah, so he came to, I got to know him through my friend who told me I have a friend in um, um, in Norway, who um, who has some uh, problem uh, because he was a refugee from Congo, but he has a uh, background uh, from Rwanda, so he had he had been a refugee because of uh, the problem that we had in Rwanda for for many many years. Uh, so uh, his parents. Uh, um, he, he was born in Congo and grown up in Congo. So when Congo had a problem, they, uh, he missed uh, national debt. So Congo said that they are not uh, really Congolese and Rwanda, they were not, they, they are not Rwandese. So that's why he came, he came here. So that time he was somehow depressed as I, um, I had also something kind of, um, um, that he had. That's why the, this friend of mine told me I have a family member who has a problem, so he he can't um, go up because he has this problem uh, with um, um, genocide. If I can't say because it was ethnic problem. Uh, this uh, it's the same like I have uh, seen in my country but uh, he told me but maybe you can tell him that there is a hope that uh, someone can uh, uh, overcome so that's how we got in connection and after a while then we got in a relationship <laughs> uh, uh, when I came, I got um, uh, introduced to the program that they have here, uh, a refugee program, which is introduction program. I started um, in January 2017, but because I was pregnant, then I... Um, uh, this program uh, is uh, helped me to go to Norwegian course. So I started there for three months. Then I had to stop um, and stay home for one year with my baby. Then I came back to the program after uh, 11 months. So I went to Norwegian course and uh, I did Norwegian course about maybe eight months. Then I started um, uh, 
uh, internship language prof i don't know uh, how i can call uh practice an internship yeah for me to 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 improve my norwegian then i did two months at school after three months i got another place because i was not so satisfied with the school i got another place through this uh, refugee service uh, um, to the clinic where i worked all, uh, almost four months then after that i got a job to school where i'm working now at um, uh, primary school uh, but now recently i got another job at uh, refugee service in uh, Aukla. it's uh, another commune which is uh, not so far from here so i'm actually so happy that i can manage to work at the same service as uh, uh, the service who helped me a lot to 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 be where I'm, where I am today, which is a refugee service, freaking Chenison. I will uh, tell her that I'm uh, very satisfied. Actually, Norway is a very good country who help people to integrate uh, themselves in the society. Uh, we, uh, through this. Um, uh, uh, refugee services which is freaking shanesta that uh, we can um, that i have been able to learn the language and to integrate myself in the society so i can just tell how that it's uh, amazing to live here i miss social life actually my dreams uh, is to work hard so that I can um, own my own business uh, because I I found myself most in uh, entrepreneurship but uh, I also like to work with people especially people who has pro uh, problem so as right now I got job to uh, refugee service so I think I will uh, work uh, fast with them so that I can uh, be, be able to help them and uh, uh, yeah, to, to feel uh, them because I have been um, in a war in the genocide. So I am very um, touched so that's why I want to be involved also in uh, 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 their lives. I'm very uh, uh, patriotic. I like my country, even though Norway is a very beautiful country, but I like my country. Uh, but if the reason, like if uh, that person has a reason, like uh, the one I have, or maybe another reason that that can take him or her from my country i can advise um, uh, that person maybe to live um, mostly in scandinavia country especially in norway because uh, i have many uh, friends or many relatives who live in uh, in abroad but um, I think Norway has the best way to integrate people, so I can uh, recommend Norway <laughs> integration and uh, that Norway uh, people live equally. So uh, it's uh, my suggestion is because if someone is um, a refugee in a country. Uh, we have a uh, tendency to feel ourselves so uh, down and that we can't anything. But in Norway, I have experience through my experience, um, through um, 
uh, refugee sciences I experienced that they tell you that you can um, you can do uh, many things they tell you that you like others they give you hope they um, they push uh, they push up you up so I can advise them that uh, Norway is the best country to live in. I think hope is uh, is a key uh, because if someone is hopeless, especially if you don't have someone to see, uh, if you don't have your family maybe to ask, if you don't have a hope, uh, you can't do anything because you will always see yourself uh, uh, down. You will always think that you can't achieve anything. So hope is very important. And I think uh, here we still, uh, according to my experience with my friends, uh, my refugees friend, uh, whom we were together at school, they they the problem most of the problem that we have it's uh, hope uh, most of them they're hopeless they they just uh, think that it's not possible to do uh, uh, what others are doing what european can achieve they feel that it's impossible but i can just advise them to push up, have a hope, and uh, everything is possible here. If you work hard, then you will achieve what you want.